A useful arrangement that's easy to construct in country where timber is everywhere for the taking is a rack for the sled, skis, equipment, and weapons to keep them out of the snow and in good working condition. And when snow is piled up around the base of the tent, it stays warmer and is more secure from the wind. A long winter is at our doorstep. Imagine, Imagine the, the technology, technology that stands, stands between us, us and Mother Nature. Mother Nature. Suddenly, Suddenly gone. gone. The, the lights, lights go out. out. We are exposed. We're exposed. It's a, it's a struggle, struggle to stay, to stay warm. warm. The, the roads, roads are no, are no longer, longer safe. safe. It's the it's quiet, the quiet apocalypse. apocalypse. It's the it's long, the long dark. dark. There isn't really a game out there right now that delves into the nitty gritty details of like, what would you have to do to survive? And in the long dark, we're really focused on that. At the heart of the game, it's really about that survival simulation. So, you know, having to be concerned about your day-to-day -day survival, looking for food and water, being concerned about wildlife that you might encounter, um, other survivors that you might run into along the way, you know, what are their motivations? Are they trying to kill you? Do they have knowledge that you might use, you know, to survive? Um, so it's really about creating an, an amazing kind of sandbox for players to experience, like a survival sandbox basically, that they can go into and we give them a bunch of interesting choices, we give them some interesting characters to, to interact with and we have a bit of a mystery as to what's going on in the world and then you know, let them go and experience and find out for themselves what's going on. I think The Long Dark is, is going to be a very unique game. We haven't seen a game like it before. We're melding exploration with these themes and it's not, like I said, it's not about the combat, it's not about the shooting, it's, it's something that's going to be a unique experience. The, there's a power in, that, in the game's medium that is like nothing else and I feel like with this project it's pushing that forward and I, f I feel like if I was an investor that's what I'd want to invest in, is something that's actually pushing things forward rather than the status quo. I think the long dark game is a, a di different than the games out there. It's more mature, you know, it's uh, the, n not just the art, but everything just feels more mature. The Long Dark to me is a story about struggle. It's about when the world falls apart. People, you know, will be grouping together and trying to sort of find each other, but there'll be conflicts. Uh, there'll be moral choices that you have to make um, that will, you know, affect what happens down the road and how people perceive you and treat you. So, uh, to me, I find those kind of stories really engaging. In the very post-disaster um, moments, it's going to be very difficult and pe there's going to be panic and there's going to be, people are going to start to behave badly. Um, you know, NPCs and possibly players. You're a human being who has to make choices that they may not be 100% comfortable with, but the reality is, is it's a choice between living or dying. Ultimately, we want to draw players into an experience that is thought-provoking, but is also beautiful. And we want them to be connected and engaged with the world that we're creating, which means there has to be something there that is magical. And I think that's one of the reasons why for us the aurora is such an important symbol. It's it's a, like a visual metaphor for how the world has changed. It's a visual metaphor for the power of nature. Um, and it's also a very, just a beautiful thing to look at. And I think that for us, really the mood and atmosphere that we were trying to create is this interesting contrast between like that struggle for day-to-day -day survival, but also believing that there's something worth surviving for in the world. And it's people, and it's the beautiful world that we live in, and it's um, you know trying to, trying to do what is needed for a better future. Living in the city, anybody can live, but living in this, you know, in this, you know, woods, it just feels like you have to be a little bit more mature. You have to be very more grown up to, to survive and know what you're doing. And we're trying to tell that to the audience in a beautiful way. I really feel like, you know, we're trying to bring the player into this kind of mystical Northwest setting because it is such a magical environment. And it allows us to create this amazing backdrop for really interesting characters and interesting locations that you've not really seen in a lot of games before. The interesting thing is, is it's not the sound as much as it is the silence. You don't realize when you're in a city 
how much ambient noise there is. And then you come out here and you stand in the middle of a, a forest grove and you just listen and it's incredible. Like everything, like little tiny sounds that you would never would notice because they'd be drowned out. All of a sudden you're hearing things like, you know, branches cracking and birds in the distance and just little, you know, streams like we when we went for that walk uh yesterday there was all those streams and and you notice like they all sound different like one's a little more bubbly and other one's a little more aggressive and so being in this environment has inspired me to make sure that you know that i'm true to the world um, that Mackenzie will be in another major reason why uh, players i think should keep an eye on the long dark is the really amazing team that we've put together so far. Just an incredible depth of talent that we have. Every single one of, the, of them is, you know, 10 to 20 year veteran of the industry. An amazing collaborator and is a leader in their own field. And I think collectively it creates this amazing kind of um, energy. Raphael, who's our creative director, uh, extremely intelligent. Um, he's an amazing writer, an amazing storyteller and also an amazing leader. I've worked with a lot of amazing art directors in the industry, um, and there are amazing art directors in the industry, but there aren't a lot that have created original looks in games, and Hokio has done that twice. He was the original art director on League of Legends at Riot, and so he conceived of the entire visual direction you know, for League of Legends, which is now like what the most played game in the world. Um, and he also was the art director at Giant Sparrow on um, The Unfinished Swan, which is a beautiful game. And our audio guy, Dave Chan, he's worked on a large number of games and he's just incredibly talented. Audio is is 50% of what makes a game great but it's often left to the wayside and so um, Dave has amazing experience having worked on all these different Bioware titles. Um, he's really strong with you know anything related to dialogue and storytelling. He's got a great sense for creating sound effects. Um, he's a great guy to work with so you know he's another one of these sort of powerhouse uh, you know guys in his own discipline. Um, and, and I think, you know, in large part because of him, we'll, we'll be able to hit those goals that we have for, for storytelling and for the quality of the experience. The thing about The Long Dark is it's plausible to me, so it's a little spooky. So it's like, what if this actually did happen? Marianne is amazing. Um, I worked with Marianne uh, years ago at Ubisoft on a project, and um, we just had a great connection right away. I just love working with her. She's a great writer. She's worked on, you know, huge franchises like she wrote all the God of War games and, you know, she's been involved with a lot of big AAA productions, but she has this amazing sensibility for storytelling and for human nature. And I think that's one of the things that I really appreciate about her is that she really understands how people's minds work and I think that's why her storytelling is so strong. Um, and I think, you know, it's, it's really going to be a big part of what makes The Long Dark really stand out from, from other games. The Long Dark to me is a game that I want to play as a gamer, and it's a game that I want to make as a developer. I'm so excited to work with Alan. Alan is one of these technical directors that is, he's so competent and so confident that you just know you're gonna be okay. It's like you, you just, and he's a great partner and a great collaborator. He has so much experience and you know, he's been behind some very, very um, significant kind of technology-based projects like you know, the entire engine for Saints Row, for example. These are huge projects. And so being able to you know, harness his knowledge and his abilities on a project like this is, is kind of mind-blowing for me. And as a, as a creative person, you know, the, the relationship with the technical director is so critical because you can have whatever idea you want, but really it comes down to what is possible, what can be done. And what I love about Alan is not only is he very confident, but he's a great collaborator and he's not someone to just say, no, that's not possible out of hand. He'll just say, that's gonna be challenging, let's figure out a way to do it. And I think that creates this amazing dynamic between us and a great partnership. I'm Emily Clara Fan. I am the PR and community manager for Hinterland Games and I'm from Toronto. Emily is awesome because she is so um, warm and vibrant. She has this really bubbly personality and she's really easy to talk to. Um, she has a lot of really strong experience as a journalist and she's really well connected in the games industry. And when I was looking for someone to um, take ownership for all the community aspect of, of Hinterland, which which is such an important part of what we're doing because we, we want to have that really close connection with our community, with our audience. Um, we, I really knew that I needed someone who could um, you know, in a lot of ways be the face of, of the company for the community, of, of the face of the team for the community. We couldn't do this without, without a community and anything that I can do to help you get the answers you want, um, to know anything you want to know about the project, 
that's what I'm here to do. I'm really excited about the Long Dark. We have an amazing team working on this game. We're gonna build something that is groundbreaking and amazing, and we want you to be part of it. So back us, become part of the community, help us make the Long Dark an amazing, memorable experience. Thank you.